Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. This is the second video this afternoon, and it's going to be my South Sydney Rabbitohs 2021 predicted team list. So, obviously, South Sydney have a lot of depth and a lot of talent in their side this year, and I think they've got a really good core of players here. So, this has actually been a very difficult list to put together because there's so many good players in this side, and there's going to be a few players that miss out on the 17 who I think would make the 1-17 and a few other clubs like some of the clubs that are trying to improve and all that. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. I'll go through the 1-17 to Rabbitohs team and then I'll go through the reserves and then I'll go through each position and why I've got players in that sort of position. So fullback, I've gone with Latron Mitchell. On the wings, Alex Johnson and Josh Mansour. In the centres, Campbell Graham and Dane Gagai. In the halves, 5 Cody Walker. Halfback and the captain, Adam Reynolds. The front row of Jai Arrow and Tevita Totola. The hooker is Damian Cook. The second row of Jaden Sewer and Jacob Host. The lock is Cameron Murray. And on the interchange bench, I have gone with Benji Marshall, Tom Burgess, Liam Knight, Keon Kalamatangi. And on the reserves, the four reserve players. So these are the four players that probably miss out on the 17, but they could come into the side if there was an injury or... Someone got suspended. I've gone with Jackson Paulo, Braden Burns, Patrick Mago, and Mark Nichols. And obviously the coach of the Rabbitohs is Wayne Bennett in his final year of coaching South Sydney. So I think it's a very strong side that South Sydney have here. And I think this would be their best one to 17 if this is the team they were to go with. So obviously a fullback. I've gone with Latrell Mitchell. Started last year fairly slow at fullback, but really improved before he got injured, which was a which was a massive loss for South Sydney. I wonder how they would have went in that preliminary final if they had Latron Mitchell playing, but that's another story for another time. But Latron Mitchell, he's improving at fullback, and hopefully he goes well this year. So I've got him at fullback. The wingers, Alex Johnson and Josh Mansour. Alex Johnson, the top try scorer last year, had a fantastic season, a pretty underrated player, does all the things right, and... A little bit unlucky not to make the New South Wales Origin squad even the side, to be fact. But Alex Johnson, a fantastic winger, and he's obviously one of the first blokes picked in this team. Along with Josh Mansour, who was picked up um, to go to South Sydney from Penrith. Obviously, the Penrith Panthers didn't want him anymore. And the source, Josh Mansour, has gone to South Sydney. He's going to be playing on the right wing, from what I understand. So hopefully he goes well at, goes well at South Sydney. And I think he will. He's a fantastic winger, Josh Mansour. Probably in the top 10 wingers in the game at the moment. And I think he'll do very well, Mansell. So he obviously is, is on the wing with Alex Johnson. The centers, Campbell Graham and Dane Gagai. There was a few question marks about Campbell Graham in the centers last year. I was a little bit... I had a few question marks with Campbell Graham for a while in the centers. But he improved in that position. And now he gets a full off preseason at center. And he gets a full season at center. So... I'm looking forward to seeing how Campbell Graham goes in the centres, and I think he will do very well with a preseason under his belt. Along with the other centre they got there, Dane Gagai, a very experienced player, def definitely a better winger at, at state of origin level, but Dane Gagai is a fantastic player. He does all the little things right. He's, a, he's quality, plenty of experience, and he'll do a very good job once again, I believe. The halves, Cody Walker and, Al and Adam Reynolds. Cody Walker, one of my favourite players in the game. He's a world-class 5'8", probably in the top three 5'8s in the game at the moment. He's just all class. He does all the little things right. He's a fantastic player. He loves playing up on the advantage line and just loves just loves running the ball. He's a fantastic player. Cody Walker, so obviously I've got him at 5'8". Halfback, the captain, Adam Reynolds. Adam Reynolds is brilliant. One of the best halfbacks in the game. Arguably, arguably has the best short kicking game in the game at the moment. He's a fantastic player. Adam Reynolds, and um, great captain of South Sydney, and what a player he is. So obviously he makes the halfback position. The front row, I've gone with Jai Arrow and Tavita Totola. There's been a little bit of talk about Jai Arrow playing lock, but you've got to have Jai Arrow playing front row along with Totola. I think Jai Arrow probably suits the front row position well at South. So I think he'll play really well at the Rabbitohs. Probably more of a front row nowadays. I don't think he's more of a lock anymore. I think he's a front row, Jairo, and I think he probably fits into the front row position 
better better than, than the lock position for in my opinion for South Sydney. So I've got Arrow playing front row along with uh, Tavita Totola. Now I think he had a really good year last year. Totola, I think he will improve as a player. And I think, you know, he's that big body sort of bloke. He's a similar th sort of player to Fanil Blake. Both big players and they've got a lot of skill and they've got some, they, they, they are very quick for front rowers. So I think Tavita Totola will improve this year once again. And I'm looking forward to seeing how he goes this year, Totola. So I've got him in the front row with Arrow. The hooker is Damian Cook. It's a no-brainer. One of the best hookers in the game. And there's no one on this team that can even threaten Damien Cook for that position. So obviously Damien Cook is the hooker. The back row of Jaden Sewer and Jacob Host. Now Jaden Sewer had a smashing year last year. Played State of Origin for Queensland. Um, did a lot of good things last year, Jaden Sewer. I thought he was quite underrated. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing how he goes this year after last year. He was fantastic for South Sydney. Loves, loves putting on big hits and he's a very... Very, very uh, dominant back rower. Likes to put on big hits and change momentum, change, change the momentum of the game when he's out there. So I've got Jaden Sewell in the back row. He's a fantastic player. Along with Jacob Host, who um, left the Dragons to go to South Sydney. Now, from what I understand, Jacob Host will actually be playing second row at the Rabbitohs. So I'm looking forward to seeing how Jacob Host goes at South Sydney. I think he'll play on an edge, probably on the same side as Adam Reynolds. But... Uh, Jacob Host, I'm looking forward to seeing how he goes this year. I think he'll improve as a player, and I think he will start at South Sydney. So I've got him playing back row. The lock is Cameron Murray, one of the uh, best locks in the game, probably in the top three best locks in the world. Cameron Murray, he's world class. He's a fantastic player. The New South Wales lock, I think, along with Jake Chaboyevich. But Cam Murray, what a player he is, and he's a no-brainer for mine. And on the bench, I've got Benji Marshall was at Jersey 14. I think he'll come on, maybe play the 10 to 15 minutes. I think he'll, I think Benji Marshall will get more game time in the halves when State of Origin comes around. But Benji Marshall, what a player he is. And I think he'll definitely be on the bench for the Rabbitohs. The two other players i got, the front rowers, that will probably come on and play a bit of prop. Tom Burgess and Liam Knight. Tom Burgess, I thought, had a fairly good year last year. Did a pretty good job at South Sydney last year. Tom Burgess coming off the bench, and he did a pretty good job last year. So he makes the bench, along with Liam Knight, who I have a pretty big rap on. I thought he was fantastic last year. Liam Knight did a lot of good things off the bench for the Rabbitohs, and I think he'll be a top 10 a top ten bench player by the end of 2021. I think he'll just improve and get better and better, so he makes the bench. And the other player I got is Keon Kalamatungi. Now, this bloke was fantastic last year. He made my... Um, Top 10 bench players of the year last year. I think Keon Kalamatungi has the potential to even even play a bit of back row. I think he, he might even play a bit of back row this year. He might even play there along with Jacob Host. They could be fighting over that position. But Keon Kalamatungi, I'm a big fan of him. And I hope he gets a lot of game time this year in the starting side. Because he is a very good player. And on the reserves, the two outside backs I've got in the reserves. Jackson Paulo and Braden Burns. Now Jackson Paulo and Braden Burns. Would probably start at any other club, but at the moment, they're still at South Sydney, and I think they're very good depth players for Souths, and I think Paulo and Burns will definitely get game time this year, but at the moment, they'll be in the reserves, I think, so hopefully that they can get more game time. And the two front rowers for depth in case of injury suspension, um, uh, Patrick Mago and Mark Nichols. Now, Patrick Mago, a very fine young front rower. I think he'll get a bit of game time this year, but at the moment, I've got him in the reserves. And along with Mark Nichols, did an alright job last year as well, Mark Nichols, and I think he'll make the reserves as well. So, anyway, guys, that's my South Sydney Rabbitohs 2021 predicted team. Let me know your South Sydney Rabbitohs predicted team in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing your feedback. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys later tonight for my Gold Coast Titans. 2021 predicted team until then guys as always stay stay, stay safe and um i'll see you guys in the next one